Today we're going to look at using um, a program called Tinkercad to do some computer aided design um, and then transfer that across to the 3D printer. Tinkercad is an online computer aided design uh, program that you can access simply by googling Tinkercad and opening up the program. It's a very simple, um, easy to use program. This program is much easier to use with a mouse, so I would suggest uh, plugging a mouse into your computer just to make things a little bit easier to move around your design. Um, once you've got the mouse plugged in, you can use the wheel on the mouse to scroll in and out. Uh, clicking down on the mouse will allow you to pan around your design, and right clicking on the mouse will allow you to orbit around your project. Today we're going to look at just making a simple key tag or name tag using Tinkercad. First of all, scroll, scroll down. All the tools that you can use um, are on the side here. You can also import um, other people's designs that are saved through Tinkercad. It's like a sharing uh, platform that we can use um, to access people's work or generate your own. So just going to scroll down to start with and using the box, put that on our uh, canvas and dragging it out to 85, uh, 80 millimeters by 45 millimeters is the size of the key tag we're going to produce today. Once we've done that, we can shrink it down so that it is only three millimeters thick. And there is the uh, base of our key tag. If you wish to change color, you could change the color quite simply clicking up there. Um, the next thing we're going to want to do is insert some text. So dragging that across onto our platform and typing into the text bar what we wish to have our text say, which is C H R C S. For HS, uh, you might wish to put your name or something along those sides, something along those lines in that text box. Uh, I'm just going to shrink that down so it's not quite so big, and we only want to extrude it two millimeters. So I'm going to shrink that right down to about two millimeters. Okay, and pressing Enter. Or clicking off your clicking onto your canvas, you can um, transfer that text across. Clicking on the text, you're able to drag it out and move it around your page. Obviously, I'm going to want to rotate that 90 degrees. Um, drag it onto my canvas. Now, as you can see, it is sitting down inside my box. So what I'm going to do is click on this black arrow here and drag it up. So that it is coming up uh, three millimeters, as and then it will be, will be sitting on top of my canvas there. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit more text underneath this. Um, you can design yours however you wish. Uh, I'm putting that on the page. I'm just going to add the text now. Google. Uh, shrink that down a little bit in size. Again, we only want to make it extruded, extruded two millimeters. And rotate it 90 degrees. Pull it up. Chuck it over here on our template. We want to raise that up to three millimeters. And then position it on our Once you've got your writing positioned where you're happy, 
with it as far as your design goes. Highlight all of your work. And up here in the top right hand corner, you'll find a symbol called group. And by click clicking group, I'll make that uh, one, one um, item. So now I can't edit. If I edit or shrink anything, I'll be shrinking it all um, together. Okay. The uh, next thing we're going to look at doing is um, creating a bit of a design in this uh, top right hand corner and we're going to need a hole through it, through our design to put our uh, key tag in. So one of the tools we've got here on the right hand side is a box hole and a cylinder hole so we're going to use them now. Just by um, dragging the box hole out onto the screen, uh, I'd like I'm just going to shrink it down to be uh, one millimeter in height because I'm going to try and create a bit of a recess here in this top right hand corner. I'm going to lift that up two millimeters and drag it onto my object or item that I'm designing. Um, by selecting it all now and clicking group you can see now that I have created a one millimeter recess in this top right hand corner. Wonderful. Okay, next thing we're going to want to do is put a cylindrical hole through our key tag. So again, dragging that out onto the screen. Uh, the size of the hole we're probably, that we're going to wish to put through this key tag is six millimeters in diameter. You could make an oval shaped hole if you wanted to, or um, anything really I suppose as far as what you wanted to you could put a square hole in if you wished um, I'm just going to create a six millimeter by six millimeter cylindrical hole through so I can put a key ring on it I'm going to drop that down so that it's only two millimeters in height because that's the distance that I've got left and then I'm going to drag it into the center of my square again selecting the whole image clicking group um, I get now a hole traveling through that I can put a key ring. So as we can see, Tinkercad is an effective, easy to use program, um, free for computer aided design that we can use to um, 3D print. Uh, so what I'd like to do now is have a play with some of the tools on the side um, and create an effective key tag design that we'll use with the 3D printers.